Let's take a look at working with one of the, perhaps one of the most sought after Microsoft Excel functions, the VLOOKUP. Now open in front of you, I've got a really simple example here. Uh, I've got two worksheets, one called VLOOKUP function, the other one called master employee list. And what I'd like to do here is based off of these employee IDs uh, on the VLOOKUP worksheet, I want to find the employee's first name, their department, and so on. But all of that information for these handful of employees is found on the master employee list worksheet. So if I look over here, I can see employee number 0 or 1054, last name of Smith, first name of Howard, works in the AT department and has a pay rate of 1125. So I want to be able to gather some of the information from this record and a handful of the other records and bring it over to this worksheet here. So there's 1054 again. Take that value. Go find it here. There it is. Oh, I'm looking for first name. Maybe copy. Go paste that in there. Well, that would be me manually performing the operation of looking that information up, finding it, locating it, copying it, pasting it. We're going to use the VLOOKUP to accomplish this. Now take a look. My first step, I'm going to click into cell C3, and I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function. Now I'm just going to type this in, or at least I'm going to start to type this in. So I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to open up a parentheses. Now right here, they give you a little bit of the IntelliSense that pops up, and it talks a little bit about the various arguments that the VLOOKUP function requires of us to fill out. Now, just to make it a little more user-friendly, uh, after I've typed in the function I'm looking for, open parentheses, I'm going to go click on the little Insert Function button, little FX button up here at the top. This just opens up a much cleaner interface, gives you a little bit more explanation about the function and so on. So first thing I'm looking for is the employee ID, in this case, 1054. Now, where am I going to find that at? Well, it, in, for Excel to know where to find it, they're asking for something here called Table Array. So I'm going to go over to my master employee list, and I'm going to tell it, just look inside of this table right here. It's on the master employee list, and it sells A2 to I38. Look inside that list there. Let's find the employee ID of 1054. Now, I've selected the entire list, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, why would you do that? Because we're really only looking for an, an employee ID. Why do we need to include last name, first name, and so on? Well, this deals with the next argument here, call index num. Now, remember, I'm looking for a specific employee. It's found in A3 on the previous worksheet. It's 1054. Where is it going to find it? It's going to find it in this, this table array, uh, A2 to I38. Well, it looks through the first column of that array, looks for it, but then column index num wants to know, well, once you found it, okay, here's 1054, which column do you want to return back? Okay. In this case, I'm looking for the first name of 1054, so we're going to go column number 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to plug in a 3 there. I want to get the third column's value back. And then the last one, which is actually optional, but I'd say like 99% of the time I'm going to use it, I'm going to put false in here. And what that means is we want to find the exact match. Don't find something else. Let's find 1054, what I told you to look for. And that's it. Four little things. What are you looking for? Where are you going to find it? Once it's found, which column value do you want to return? and whether or not you want the exact or the uh, closest thing, the matching. That's it. I'll hit OK. And there's Howard. Now, I may want to make some adjustments here. I'm going to go back up to my formula bar, and I'm going to grab the range of cells here. I'm going to make that absolute. Just put the dollar signs in there. Uh, this way, I can then grab Howard, and I can drag that down and populate the rest of the names there for these different employees. Let's just confirm. 1056 is Joe. So if I hop over here, there's 1056. And yes, the first name of 1056 is Joe. And that's the VLOOKUP. Again, perhaps one of the most common 
sought after functions inside of Microsoft Excel. Try this out. You, know, you can recreate what I got here. You can create your own little example, whatever you got there, but that's really where you're going to be able to grasp what the VLOOKUP is all about. Get some hands on, you know, test it out yourself. But there it is. There's Microsoft Excel's VLOOKUP function.